Okay, so once you have your font graffiti style letters of your name written out, your next step then is going to be put onto a clean piece of paper. Now, here at school, I have tag board that we're going to use, which is a little bit heavier paper. But again, if you're at home and the only thing that you have is printer paper or whatever paper you have will work, okay? But I would like you to um, go ahead and trace it onto a clean piece of paper just because lots of times you guys have drawn something and erased and drawn something and erased so it's not very clean and you know it has a bunch of stuff on there that you couldn't erase and it, yeah so you might just um then go ahead and trace it onto a clean piece of paper again i would prefer you use heavier paper if you don't have it that's okay use what you have or you could set up a time and stop in and get some heavier paper from me whatever you decide to do will work but in transferring this um you could use the light tables here if you're in room in the room, or you could also just take your image, your name, put your other pe piece of paper over the top, tape it up to a window, and there should be enough light coming through the window, the sunlight coming through that you'll be able to see that image through there. Okay. Um, another thing that you might also try is your Chromebook screen has that light to it, so that might be enough light to shine that image through your um, clean sheet of paper but enough on that I think you'll be able to get that transferred so we're kind of done with that at this point until we paint and we will come back to that for another demonstration on painting the next step that I want to do is talk to you guys about drawing out the lines for the brick wall part okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take um, a piece of paper and I've pre-cut the paper here in the classroom so it's nine inches across and 10 or 11 inches uh, vertically so again um, it's nine by 11 nine by 11 is the size okay so then at this point what we need to do is i'm going to center this here we go and then we're going to take the ruler and i'm going to place that on top of my paper I'm going to go through and I'm going to make sure that's lined up there. And the other side of the paper is lined up. You can see there that it's nine inches. But what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go through at every half inch on my ruler and I'm going to make a tiny little mark. Okay. So every half inch I'm making a little mark clear across my paper. Okay. So all the way over. And I had to hand cut this paper, you guys, on my paper cutter. So it's a little bit short of my nine inches. Do I care? Nope, not gonna worry about it. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I need to slide my ruler down, or I'm gonna, in this case, I'm gonna slide my paper up. And I'm gonna bring my ruler all the way down to the other end. Do not turn your paper, okay? Start at the top, make your little marks at half inch, Come down, make your marks a little bit um, at the half inch mark again, all the way across your paper. The reason I'm saying is to slide your ruler down on your paper instead of turning your paper. If you turn your paper to make these little half inch marks, you're going to end up with funky diagonal lines. Again, the reason is because I had to cut this paper. So it may not be the perfect um, size of 9 by 11 anymore. So again, start at the top, half inch mark, slide your ruler down, make your half inch mark. Then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to also turn my paper then, so it's horizontal in front of me. Line my ruler up. Here, we'll shift this way a little bit so we can see everything. Okay, so from here, I'm going to do the same thing. See, I already started some little marks there, just so I'm not wasting a bunch of your time. And again, every half inch, I'm going to make a little dash line. Again, this is setting it up to make the brick wall. I'm going to slide my ruler down and repeat. You can see I already pre-drew some lines on there. Again, 
just to speed things up here for the video demonstration. All right. And there we have it. Okay. Next step. I'm going to turn my paper again so it is vertical in front of me. Vertical so that, you know, um, it's how the book is going to be put together. Okay. So right now I'm going to create these horizontal lines going across. So my paper is vertical in front of me. And now what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see these on the video. I hope it's picking up. But what I'm doing is I'm taking my ruler. I'm not doing any measurement this time. My ruler is going to be used to give me a straight edge. Okay, create a straight line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my ruler right on one of those little half inch marks that I made, line the other end of my ruler up. There it is right there. And I'm going to draw a line from end to end on the paper. Okay, so there's one line. I'm going to slide my ruler down. Okay, so this is going to take you a little bit to do this step. And that's all right. And don't worry if you don't exactly, you know, if you see your little uh, measurement line sitting there, you could, you could come back and clean it up later if you want. But you know what? I think by the time we put the watercolor paint over this to make it look like bricks, you're not going to notice that. All right. So I'm going to continue doing that. Woo. We have a time lapse going on here. Wow. Look at that. I have that all magically drawn up. Now, in order to create this brick wall. Look, if you notice, this line lines up with that one and that one, and we skip a brick. Line, skip a line. Okay, so here's how we're going to create that. That staggering brick wall look. Okay, I'm going to turn my paper, just because it's easier for me to do measurements this way. Or actually, I'm not measuring. I am using the ruler again here as a straight edge to create that straight line. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to use my pencil. I'm going to draw a line from the edge of the paper to that first line. I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to draw a line, skip, draw a line, skip. So can you see what's happening here? Okay. Gonna get my ruler lined back up. I just slid it down so you could see what's happening. All right, I just drew that one. I'm gonna skip that one and draw a line. Skip, draw a line, skip, 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 skip to my loo. Okay, that was really cheesy. Sorry. Just trying to fill in some dead space here. Okay, I've got that done all the way across. Now, what we need to do. This is the space that I skipped last time, right? So now I'm going to come back. I'm going to find that little mark right there. Line my ruler up. Come down here. There's my little mark right there. Okay, now I'm looking right here. That's where I have my line. Now this time I draw a line there. I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to draw a line and skip. Draw a line, skip. Draw a line, skip, skip, and do you see how that brick wall is starting to create that altered line, okay? So I'll finish this one here. Okay. Whoops, I got a little wiggly right there. That might happen, just erase it. Yep, make sure that pencil lid fits up next to that straight edge, your ruler, okay? Next one! Here we go, line up the little marks. Okay, so I think I've done enough here to show you guys how to do this, all right? So I would just keep working across and down my paper. So again, this is going to take a little bit of time to draw this out, <clears throat> but you're going to do this on two pieces of paper, okay? 
because again, this is going to be the brick wall. We need one to be the front of your sketchbook and one to be the back of your sketchbook, which won't have anything on it. We're going to put your name on the front. Okay. So there you go. That concludes this video. All right.